I remember playing this game for a little bit and I still couldn't ignore the backstory for this game. This was about as blatant as it gets. Deus Ex Human Revolution. This is the third installment in the Deus Ex game series. This is the prequel to the original that came out back in 2000. The game is set in 2027, five years from the time of this recording. The game focuses on the theme of the transhumanism agenda coupled with the influence of the mega corporations. Think about how prevalent that is today. The game also mentions artificial organs and other extensive augmentations that could be made to the human body. This game blatantly talks about the Illuminati and other secret organizations. Like we've seen over the past decades, there are substantial improvements in technology but they can also be to our detriment. As we see in the game, there grows a divide within society as augmented humans are viewed as the far superior class of humans, whereas the normal humans that choose not to get augmentations or their body rejected it were looked down upon. Now here's the kicker, the augs as they were called, would have to take this drug called neuropoxine that stopped their body from rejecting the technology. So there were the ones that accepted it and others that were morally opposed. Think about that. They also point out how much greater influence the mega corporations have compared to the government. They were the ones responsible for the path that society had gone to in the game. And I almost forgot to mention that this game also has FEMA camps and of course artificial intelligence. Let's see what else. We have people getting forced to get locators implanted into their bodies. Wow. So the mastermind AI system in the game poses a news media personality to monitor data streams and control what people believed. Where have we heard that before? On top of that, they already had Robocop dogs in New York City and that was a couple years ago. So imagine what they could have by the year 2027. And at this point, it wouldn't be too far fetched to see something like this in development. Now here's where the Illuminati comes into play. The CEO of Seraph Industries mentioned that his enemy didn't want people evolving unless it was the way that they had planned it. Some Illuminati shit. They were pushing the biochips on the masses and a lot of people went for it to no surprise. At one point, they activate the biochips and the people lose their minds and go into a murderous state. They even got slick with the numbers and put 6-9 in front of us. 4 plus 2 equals 6 and 4 plus 5 equals 9. In Jumanjia, Illuminati equals 69 and the main antagonist group in this game is the Illuminati. They put this stuff right in our faces. They weren't short on the symbolism in this game either. We would see the five pointed star and we know how much they love that pentagram and we'd also see the occultic number six associated with the AI system. We also see the horns on the Bell Tower Associates logo and we see the one eye symbolism. Now remember what I said about the biochip and how there were those that accepted it and others that didn't. Look at this shot with the three threes. In Jumantria, the RFID mark equals 333. Truth in plain sight. Just think about where society is heading and the messages in this game. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Thank you for watching. We are out.